I'm Pamela Combs, and I'm the Manager of Provider Relations for the Licking County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Here in Licking County, we have over a dozen providers that offer different opportunities for adults with developmental disabilities. They range from job training, job coaching, uh, day service opportunities, college coursework, self-advocacy, the list goes on and on. Today we're standing in front of 600 Industrial Parkway in Heath, Ohio. This is the home of LICO Incorporated, which started in 1965 as the workshop for adults with developmental disabilities and it was created by the Licking County Board of Developmental Disabilities. In 2014, the Licking County Board and the LICO Nonprofit Board worked together to transform LICO into a private service provider. Mary Thompson Hufford was hired as the first CEO, and Mary, along with the LICO Board, have created a fantastic resource in Licking County. Our goal is to help folks become as independent as possible in whatever area that looks like for them. I'm helping them expose them to the community and to different jobs and really encourage and find what it is that makes their heart sing. You saw in our cooking classes where folks were learning how to make simple meals and learning how to, how to cook. And what that does is empowers them to be able to go home and make a small meal. We're making things for Thanksgiving. We're having a mashed potato and gravy and we're gonna make some rolls and make some pies. One time I made a double layer pumpkin yeah, yeah, pie. Yeah, yeah. I like to learn how to mix all the ingredients and learn how to measure them and learn how to peel potatoes and how to cut them with a the, with the, with the peeler and do, I do that at home with my mom and help her out. And I help mom make Mexican, I help her cook, and I help her, oh yeah. I think the biggest success that we have here is we do community integration trips. And I think that it's getting the people out of the building who've never left before. And then they enjoy it. And then they're signing up week after week now to go on different outings and experiencing the community and then seeing what's out there and what they might enjoy, what they might like. And that leads to, you know, helping them in jobs. I think a lot of times our folks don't get a lot of choices. So the, the big thing when I look for a job for someone is finding something that they're passionate about, something that they are going to enjoy to do. It's about people developing themselves in little small ways. It could be being part of the self-advocacy group where they're learning how to say no and say yes and choose their schedule. It could be figuring out what kind of work they want to do by going out and doing different job trials or doing enclaves or just going and visiting places in the community. Well, it is about picking your mind and picking up with the job, something like that. I did. I want to move to my own house. Direct deposit. Do you like direct deposit? Yes, I do. I could keep care of my own stuff online now. We want our folks to be as independent as possible and not to become dependent on us or this building so they can have people around them that help support that. Kix is the fabulous creation of Mary Spain and Diana Shannon. Kix opened in 2013 as a day service provider for adults with developmental disabilities and their day service has a focus on fitness, healthy choices, and habits. Kix expanded and opened the Kix Mix bookstore in beautiful downtown Newark. This literary delight is now a vital part of downtown Newark's small businesses. The bookstore provides job training and employment opportunities for adults with developmental disabilities. We started Kix Mix bookstore in 2014 because we wanted to offer opportunities for folks to come and get jobs, vocational training for adults with uh, developmental disabilities. The biggest success that we've had is becoming a part of the community and the passion that um, so many people have for the love of books. We've been very successful with the folks that have worked down here and they enjoy the influx of people coming in and that ability to interact. They are learning customer service, which is a huge thing, especially for folks that have difficulty interacting with strangers, how to communicate, how to be friendly, how to deal with um, customer problems, how to help them find things. Do you like working at the bookstore? Yeah, I do a whole bunch of stuff. I did trash and bathrooms and dust and mopping and all that. 
I love it when a, somebody will come here and they will work here and they'll get that um, cash register experience, that customer sales experience, and then they leave here and they go get a better job someplace else. So to me, that's success because we're offering them the chance to learn skills they didn't have and then use those to go out and better themselves, get a, get a career. We're here with PALS on Industrial Parkway in Heath, Ohio. PALS started in 2012 in Gahanna, Ohio, under the leadership of Aaron Bercone and Hector Lamort. Their goal was to create unique, high-quality, person-centered services for adults with developmental disabilities. PALS, which is part of Chrysalis Health Company of Florida, was recruited to be a provider option in Licking County. And in 2013, they opened this beautiful location. We wanted to make sure that people were given a lot of different opportunities and options in their day, you know, and it was very important for for them to be able to use PALS to go on and do bigger and better things in their lives. So each day they have the opportunity to, to pick and choose what they want to work on in the morning, whether it be educational, physical activity, life skills, and then in the afternoons they have the choice to, to do a lot of community activities and participate in our art program. We also have two very unique programs, one being employment, and it's a progressive approach where we're trying to give people the skills so that when they get into community employment, they're successful. We go to a couple different locations. Uh, Aspen on Tuesdays and Fridays, and then Elder Beerman, we go there on Thursdays. I enjoy getting to uh, experience working uh, outside of uh, PALS. We hired an uh, art director who has experience in the field. She was able to really ensure that people are, are using their skills and being able to put together meaningful artwork. And draw, color, and I like the tiles they do in the hallway. I haven't got to do one yet. I'm working on crocheting right now. I'm making a purse. It's become so successful that we're in the process of putting together an art studio that's going to be completely inclusive in the community, having a store selling their art, having a gallery to showcase their art, and working um, amongst artists in the community. Something else that we're also very proud of is the fact that you know, we have an educational program as far as reading, writing, arithmetic, and then we have a couple participants that also have enrolled in our Columbus State Community College program. It's been a tremendous accomplishment for both of them and it's something I'm very proud of. My name is Lauren Price. I'm the facility director here at PALS and I oversee day-to-day -day operations. So the teams meet annually and we kind of talk about what's important to them and what they want to work on for that year. We come up with an outcome that the person agrees to, they like, they want to work on and we kind of work on that with them here. I've been doing this for a few years now and there's nowhere else I'd rather be. One of the main initiatives of PALS was to really focus on people's physical health because one of the areas of need that I saw in residential was the fact that I was meeting with a lot of doctors and going to a lot of these appointments and seeing people's health decline. So therefore we wanted to ensure that we put together a, a physical activity program and even we partnered up with Columbus State to do some physical activity elements using their human performance lab, using their exercise scientists, because it is a very important part of what we do. We've had people that have never ice skated before get on skates. We've had people that have never been in a canoe or a boat before go canoeing down the Hawking River. Just to see their, their, their faces light up and the experiences they had with that, something that has been very rewarding for me and something that I know our program is very proud of. Kings Island. Oh. Tell me about that. Went on that banshee. My first time on a roller coaster. First time on a roller coaster? What yeah. about your first time on a roller coaster? Yeah, but during the winter, we go ice skating. Scary. You were scared? I had you. you mm -hmm. I was going to let you fall. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving people those opportunities they never had before to ensure that we're making the most out of their time here. Spark became a provider for adults with disabilities in Licking County about 10 years ago. 
During this decade, under the leadership of their founder, Shelley Laney, they've offered very creative and unique opportunities for adults with developmental disabilities. Spark offers employment services at the Indian Mound Mall in Heath, along with art classes in downtown Granville at Studio Spark. Day services are held in Pataskala and in downtown Granville. And today, we're here at the Spark Soup Kitchen, which is held at the First Presbyterian Church in downtown Newark, and it's called Dine and Dash. So we try and feed the hungry in our community um, healthy, nutritious food that, you know, is filling and get them through the day. Some of it's donated from Denison, and they have um, a food recovery program, so we get food from that, and some of it is stuff that we make. We try and do a start-to-finish meal once a month. I'm turning tables for everyone to come. Do you like working? Oh, I love it. Mm. Yeah, they got some experience cooking and putting things together, as well as serving and kind of running their own kitchen. <laughs> I've learned how to uh, prep food and knowing where the uh, silverware is supposed to go. It's very rewarding work to, you know, see that their faces light up when they get to give someone a plate of food that doesn't ordinarily have food to eat. Now I am part of community that stand up for my rights. This is my choice. Be working in the uh, community, help out. It's very important to me and my family.